guns right. He put does the show when it's breaking and he needs to. Flow shows on almost every Friday night. If you wanna fit in, go get a plus V. Over in FNET News on the IRC. Watch him a fun Tita drop an ass key and Oak Reed's calling all about crap and pee. Don't forget my nigga named Cosby. Cosby. Not the one who makes the women grog. These nigga make a woman go crazy. But there's never ever been a visit by a lady. expressed on the FNET News Bandycast may not reflect those of Jason Bandy or associated PP4L Productions. Bandycast cannot be held liable for any DDoS, doxing, or life ruin that occurs related to the cast or any damages as a result of the opinions expressed. If you feel angry after hearing this cast, you have been trolled. It's a dope fucking newscast, man. You are now listening to the FNET News Report with Jason Bandy. Hello, Jungle Man. I'm your host, Jungle Man. Welcome to another episode of FNET News. I'm also known as Jason Bandy. So without further ado, please enjoy episode 8 entitled, Abuse. Vibar was G-lined by an admin for threats and abuse. Turns out he had the same host as Lode. Lode got kicked offline and subsequently juked by Voidsta. Now this is the first time I've ever seen a G-line for abuse and threats. And the G-line was such a broad stroke, considering IRC Cloud uses a UID based ident system. Something stinks about this. Dubcat helped lift the G-Line on port 80 for load, but he was already killed there for trying to join Penis Bump. That is so beautiful and so amazing. I cannot fucking believe it. It wasn't long after this that Vibar returned and started complaining about SUVs driving around in his neighborhood. Now there's a rumor going around that he got arrested for getting IRC Cloud DOSed. This would be the first time I've ever heard of someone getting arrested for being DOSed. Turns out Void's the juke load. He also juke Pyro and a few others. Not sure why, as Void's to was chatting regularly, and he's now AFK. Away fucking Cade. Now just a note, remember to listen to Low Radio Hour tomorrow. What a great show. Wicked Mama's been doxxed and people have been calling her. I'd just like to point out that this is not something FNET News encourages, especially due to her being a single mother and her kids being more affected by her shitty choices than they already were. Vapor's Pump Music has now been released and is currently available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Music, Shazam, and other places you've never heard of. The album art was created by Load. It has a penis bump on it, a penis, and on the top left, a penis bird. Please go out and support the release. I'll be working on Pump Music 2 or whatever it's called. It will include Kill FNet, which I stupidly forgot to include on Pump Music, and will also include certain songs like Dawson Spam and other tracks forthcoming. Spectre joined Pound Penis Bump and let us know he's impressed that anyone spams anymore. If you'd like to ask him what he meant, he's in Pound House and Pound BOFH. Fnetnews at gmail.com was suspended for a short while recently. Not sure why, but it's back. Also, someone's subscribed to a newsletter using the email address, and I can now enjoy my Remix Vintage Shoes newsletter. As we all know by now, Nero called the help desk at the Hotel Slimer was hanging out at during the uh, recent low radio hour. He told the help desk that someone was in the hotel pranking people. 
Shortly after that, the cops were called and Slimer was arrested. After posting a small bond of $500, he was released and went home and went to sleep. Thanks to Michael for that bond. Somehow after that, Nero admitted it was him that called. He was then doxxed and threatened and he ended up calling into the show to half-ass apologize. In between the call and the apology, Ruckus threatened to beat Lode's ass. So they organized a fight in Red Bank and Lode sent a taxi for the mongoloid Ruckus, but he was too pussy to get in the car. Please tune in to last week's LRH for the lowdown. In food news, Subway will be releasing 18-inch subs starting in October to commemorate the amount of guys Wicked Mama's now E slept with. Z advised that his favorite artist is Sherlock Crow. Pound ASCII has recently set ident bands on the following idents. Dick, Butt, and Fart. Tony from IRC Bar went from 230 pounds to 173 pounds walking to work. Tater is hanging out in Pound Chan Fix to see how long he can stay there before getting kicked. Currently, he's advising the offers that he's forgotten the channel name that he lost ops in. There's a new running contest to see how long someone can idle in Pound Chan Fix without getting banned. Lit up's been seen in Pound Fnet News and other channels, so we needn't worry any longer as to his whereabouts. He's back in full force. Unfortunately, Cool J went three weeks idled and quit all of a sudden yesterday. If anyone has any information about his whereabouts, please let us know. He actually has all of my music archived, including things I don't have. Incog recently got DOS. He steals Wi Fi from his neighbor and can hear his neighbor's kids scream when their internet died. Slimer memorizes credit card numbers of people he goes out to eat with. He memorized insects at Fogo de Gallo and proved it in Cool Chat. He also memorized Michael's cards as well. The rumor is that he'll buy an iPhone 7 with one of these cards to help with the ongoing domination of LRH. To pick which card he uses, please vote by typing hashtag insect or hashtag slimer in Fnet News. Fnet News is now on iTunes thanks to Insect. Please ask him for the link to the RSS feed if you want to subscribe directly or just search for Fnet News on iTunes. Acid Vegas is working on new scripts. Fknocker is a huge hit and has helped with Fnet News' advertising. He's also developed a script called Surge recently which helps wake people up that are asleep in chat rooms. Stay tuned for badparent.py. This guy microdoses on acid before coding. What a monster. Pound Fnet News, this is a scene of a personal meltdown in which Blow Me OK expresses disillusionment with Fnet's so-called renaissance. He complained that Pound ENN was turning out to be nothing like stress, Pound Stress, which had been a lot more fun because users didn't have to try as hard to enjoy themselves or be funny. When no one took pity on his cries for validation, he turned his attention to Vapor and asked if this is really what he wanted for Fnet's renaissance. Vapor gave him two cents and told him to buy a one-way ticket to Caratown, but Blow Me OK was not having it. Blow Me OK was beside himself, exclaiming over and over again, You don't know who I am? You don't know who I am? Eventually, he parted the channel entirely, but if you'd like to offer words of support, Blow Me OK can be found in Total Dick Riding Fags. Thank you, Spoke. Popery coined the term, you can take a piss or you can take a crap but it looks like that can finally be answered. Beatdown got caught pissing on a tree and has $1,000 in fines and 40 hours of community service. If he doesn't pay that in a month, he'll have to do 90 days in jail. You can't take a piss. Cade came back to IRC yesterday and started hanging out in Pound Fnet News. Some accused the chatter of being VXP, but no one's really sure. He or, or she challenge dislike to DOS him or her, but being on an OVH daddy VPS that his friend gave him, disliked wasn't interested. He did say that he could get his brother Storm on the case. It'll be interesting to see how this materializes. Dick jokes and baby head jokes have been a big hit lately. Here are a few provided by Matthew. Wicked mama baby head look like a wet potato. Wicked Mamba baby head look like a bag of milk. 
Wicked mama baby head look like an old leg ass is suspended in a solution. Shout out to Diesel. Fuck you, faggot. Wicked mama baby head look like a cabbage that a bunny got a hold of. Wicked mama baby head look like a pizza bagel missing any toppings. A wicked baby mama baby head look like a toxic avenger. <laughs> I don't even know. So, also dick jokes. Dio's dick look like a bean laying in a pile of rat fur. Dio's dick look like someone put a green bean on the top of a toupee. Dio's dick look like a baby earthworm squeezing between two white grapes. Dio's dick look like a piece of steak you didn't want and ended up in your pile of corn. Dio's dick look like an inchworm poking through a hole of a 90s indie rock album. Stay tuned for the weather report with Sal. Hey guys, just walked outside. Uh, breaking news out of Phoenix. We're about to get hit by a hurricane. Um, it doesn't look very good. I see habooms on the horizon. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen or I'll be alive tomorrow, but um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll talk to you guys soon. Wish me luck. Back to you, Jason. That was Sal Roker bringing you the weather. Sports news. This is your sports report from a sick bird named Stuart Snot. Let's welcome back Lit Up to IRC. He's clearly excited for the upcoming 4-12 win-loss record his Buffalo Bills will compile in 2016. College football is back and former colleague and troll antagonist Crux is here to answer all of your questions. Please join Pound SEC to engage in a solid conversation with real men. Insect is currently on high suicide alert after the Pittsburgh Pirates lost their season eight eighth game in a row. Bound hardball chatter Gravitas was unable for comment as he was at a divorce hearing. ASCII of the week. ASCII of the week. Well, ASCII of the week is Acid Vegas. He wins this week with ENNIRSSI.txt. He did it only a few hours ago because the winner before was going to be earmuff again with ENNSHOUT.txt, but Fuck that guy, he always wins. Acid Vegas hit us with an inception ASCII that just has to be seen to be understood. Chatter of the week. Right, so the chatter of the week is Nero with this beautiful quote. I don't see what going on the radio is going to do, but if you feel it'll help, I, I guess it will. This is stressing me the hell out, dude. Shouldn't have busted in a damn candy machine, fuck. Matthew's Conspiracy Corner. Right. Got another Conspiracy Corner this week. This one comes from Matthew, and he thinks there's a chance that Pound Metal has no affiliation with the music genre, but is actually an FBI honeypot. It's been reported the metal actually is an acronym for Monitor Every Troll and Log. Matthew found this out when he pointed out that they act like a hard-ass IRC chan yet ban people who link Cannibal Corpse. They're running a script that auto-bends anyone not on their FBI most wanted list. Feel free to join and see if you're a suspect. So I'm wearing the HD280 Sennheiser headphones that were paid for using support dollars on Patreon.com. My next purchases will be a portable vocal booth which I'm actually using right now. It came in today, motherfucker. And uh, also got a mic stand and another pop filter in, coming in tomorrow. As always, shout outs to the Patreon supporters this month. <coughs> Vixen, Michael, Spoke, Load, Matthew, Insect, Cho, Cosby X, Earmuff, Juped, Pokery, Sal, and Reed Error, who is actually the first Bitcoin donator pretty much it for the episode i hope you enjoy this one if not you can suck my balls and dick just so you know i'm off work for 10 days now you bitch and i'll be headed out of town for a few days be back on tuesday but that really only leaves me like two days to prepare for fnet news this is serious it also means i won't be on rc a lot this is serious I am fully reliant on everybody to make this shit work. So email fnetnews at gmail.com with any tips. I need paste bins. I need contacts. 
I need you to help me out. Word. Yep. 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 I see scrolling all day. So keep them moppers away. All the people chatting in our channel, ruining masks. These motherfuckers are gay. Ashley scrolling all day. I keep them moppers away. If you're gonna hate on FNet news, keep it quiet, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what you gotta say. Uh. For more FNet news, follow Vapor on Snapchat. Smicky999. S M. I-G-G-Y 999 or on Twitter as PP4L.